In order to finalize your barometer project, you will need to create a graph of your data. Go to your spreadsheet in Google Classroom and there is a tab that says graph. Your x variable is the height of your needle in inches. And then you can click on this down arrow and resize the column so that it fits your descriptor. And then in your Y column is going to be your pressure reading, which is inches of mercury. And then same thing, you want to click up here and resize the column to fit your data. Okay, now we're going to transfer your data from your spreadsheet. So go back to your data, go to your height of your needle, copy or highlight all of the data, right click and copy it and then go back to the graph tab and paste. And then you're going to do the same thing for the pressure reading. So go back to your data. Here's your pressure reading that you got from the website. Highlight the column, copy, and paste it into this tab. Now you're going to highlight this data. So make sure you get the, the headings as well as all of the data numbers. And we're going to insert a chart. So scroll down to chart and we want to choose this choice right here, the scatter plot. So you're going to insert a scatter plot, but we need to do some things to make the data more meaningful. So right click on the graph and we're going to advanced edit this chart. The first thing we want to change is the title. It's a little too wordy here. So we're going to uh, change it to pressure Pressure versus barometer needle height. Okay, so now we have a title. Uh, then you're going to scroll down a little bit to your horizontal axis, and we want to make sure that the min is zero so that we can see the um, origin of the graph. And so if you click over, it, that should fix your x axis. And then you need to do the same thing for the y. So if you go back up to where it says axis, using this drop down menu, you want to switch it to left vertical. And then go down again and type in zero for your min. And if you tab over, now we have the origin on our graph. Now we want to get a line, a best fit line. So you're going to scroll down some more in this advanced edit until you see trend line. And we want a linear trend line. So we can see now we have a best fit line. But we also need the equation. So scroll down a little bit more and where it says label, we're going to say use equation. And so now we have the equation for our line over here. We want to add all that to the graph, so click Update. But this is kind of all squished together on this side, so if you click on it and we want to edit this legend, we want to put the position to move to the top. So now it's like right underneath your title and everything's a little bit more clear and easy to see. All right, so now you've created your graph. You want to go to this top right corner to this little drop down click that and choose move to own sheet and then now if you look down in your tabs your first one is the data the second one helped us to make the graph and now your graph you have it nicely displayed in its own sheet in your data now that you've created your graph you need to solve for your x-intercept so you're going to take the equation for your line set x to 0 and then solve for y once you have that answer, you're going to go back to your data and down below the data somewhere, you're going to type in the X intercept and then put the value when you solve for it. So for my equation, the X intercept was negative 26.503. Now, in theory, your X intercept should correspond to the height of your needle from the bottom of your barometer. So you're going to want to set your barometer on a solid surface, take a ruler, and measure how high your needle is from the bottom of the barometer in inches. Once you've made that measurement, you're going to, again, type in height, or let's change that to needle height. And you'll type your measurement into this um, box here. Oops. 
we should probably give, and we'll give that a unit. It would be in inches. Once you've done all these things, you're done with this portion of the project. And then the next screencast will walk you through making a scale for your barometer.